Hello everyone, welcome back to Watch Me Cook. If you haven't already done so, please hit that subscribe button down below. Because today we are making air fryer riblets. I'm going to be making double the amount, but I'm going to give you guys the recipe for one pound of pork riblets. Please make sure you guys use your substitution as needed. In place of the dark soy sauce and the soy sauce, go ahead and use tamari to keep it gluten free. Also for the oyster sauce, I'm going to insert a picture of it for a gluten free brand. And the Shaoxing wine, there's a couple of different spellings for it and I didn't know what it was when I first started cooking with it. So I'm also going to insert another picture for you guys so you know what you're looking for in case you don't know. And then we're going to need one and a half tablespoons of sugar or your sugar substitute and five to eight cloves of garlic. We'll begin by mixing all the ingredients together except for your garlic. So take that out and mix it all up so you have it all well incorporated. And then we're going to go ahead and add all of the pork riblets into the sauce. Make sure you're massaging this into your meat so that it can sit there and marinate for a couple of hours. And once you're done with the sauce and placing all your ribs in, go ahead and add your garlic cloves in last. Now you can let this marinate for two hours up to overnight, so this is a great make ahead meal again. But I came back exactly two hours later, and what you're gonna do is shake off any excess marinade before you place your riblets into your air fryer. You should be able to cook all one pound of your riblets inside your air fryer at once. But again, I doubled the recipe, so I need to do mine in two parts. So we're gonna be cooking these at 360 degrees for six minutes. I had to cook mine for eight, but yours would be six minutes for one pound. My riblets were a little bit larger. So all we're gonna do is let it cook, take it out, shake it up, and repeat this step again. If you'd like a pop of color before you plate it, use any greenery that you like. I chose chopped green onions. You can use lettuce, anything else, whatever your preference is, or skip the step entirely. But go ahead and place your riblets on top. There is a recipe online for a sauce. I will go ahead and put the link down below in the description box. But I just chose to use a sweet chili sauce. Here's a little picture of it so you know which one I'm talking about. And this turned out really well together. If you guys like this recipe, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell below. And until the next meal, thank you for watching Watch Me Cook.